Hey Barrington, welcome back to school, but more importantly, welcome to a new season of Good Eats with Gall. This time we're checking out the sweet spot. The Sweet Spot, a modern twist on the nostalgic candy store classic. A block from the high school on the corner of Main Street and Hager, The Sweet Spot is a great place to stop with your friends right after school. Keeping up with the newest candy in the game, there is something for everyone at The Sweet Spot. Alright, so guys, I'm here with Doreen Thomas. So Doreen, tell us a little bit about the inspiration for The Sweet Spot. Okay, about five years ago, um, we were looking for something that Barrington didn't have and we kind of wanted to do something for the kids, so we came up with the candy store and we kind of focused it on old-fashioned candy, try to introduce that to the kids and stuff and see how well, because that would be, you know, the younger kids and the older. It's been great. We've been here five years, going on our fifth year. We are changing things all the time, especially the first couple of years, trying to cater for the kids, what they, you know, what they like. All right, I'm here with Avery and Claire. So guys, what's your favorite candy here at the Sweet Spot? I love Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy? Why do you like Laffy Taffy? Because it's sweet. Everybody loves, everybody loves something that's sweet, right? Yeah, and there's lots of colors out there. Two great things, sweet and colors. I'm Avery and I like Sour Patch Kids. And why do you like Sour Patch Kids? Because their combination of sweet and sour. Best combination ever. So tell us a little bit about the history of the building. Because there was rumors a few years ago that you guys were going to move. Um, so what you know what caused you guys to stay here? Well, yeah, we uh, had to uh, move for, for reasons with the owner here, um, trying to sell the building. And so we you know, were trying to find another location. And we had a moving sale and everything. And we were moving out December 31st. And it was about 5 o'clock. And this local guy walks in and says, stop moving, stop packing. I want to buy the building. I want you guys to stay. So that was it. We, you know, we bought the building. We had to shut down for a little bit. But we reopened like two weeks later. And here we are, five years. So you guys have kind of modeled your shop after like a penny candy shop, you know, in the olden days. Um, tell us a little about the inspiration behind, you know, the way you guys has decorated the store. Um, well, it was um, very focused on the nostalgia candy at first, and then um, we decided we wanted to get the penny candies back in. We wanted to get um, all the the. the um, novelty candies which are kind of like toys and candies mixed together you know like the toilet bowl over here and make your own pixie sticks here we got the pucker powder machine who doesn't like pucker powder <laughs> everybody does right make your own flavors that's awesome talk a little bit about the malts and the milkshakes the root beer floats that you guys make well, we uh, decided we wanted to bring ice cream in here, and again, we're trying to figure out what doesn't Barrington have, and they really didn't have soft serve ice cream here. There was no dairy cream or anything, so we uh, jumped on that, and it's been a huge set of success, so we decided to branch it out more and start doing milkshakes and old-fashioned malts. How do you guys make a chocolate malt here at the Sweet Spot? Well, we start off with vanilla ice cream, and we add a chocolate syrup to it. We vanilla add ice cream? Yeah. Vanilla ice cream, I didn't know that either until we started making them. Um, and then we add the old fashioned malt to it, which is just a powder. It's like a malt ball, but it's all crushed up. And that's what adds the flavor of the malt. Um, come on down here and I'll show you what we have. First, we've got the vanilla ice cream. We are going to add the chocolate. So that was the malt. The old fashioned malt, and we're just going to add our milk and a little secret ingredient. <laughs> it's just vanilla. vanilla. You heard it here first the secret <laughs> ingredient in a malt is vanilla. We got to mix it up, crush the malt in the mixer here until it's you know liquefied. Go. This is the malt, and we're going to decorate it a little bit with some whipped cream. And I like to add, I think everything is the way you present it. And top it off with a cherry, and voila. Try it. <laughs> 
so, so money. All right, so I feel like I'm obligated to ask, what is your favorite candy in the store? Well, when I was a kid, my favorite candy bar was the Marathon Bar. And that's just chocolate with like, it's kind of like braided with caramel inside. It's so good. So when we opened the store, that was the first thing I looked up to see if it still existed. And here it is. It's called the Curly Whirly now. Would you uh, mind if I gave it a try? Go right ahead. Oh, that's money. <laughs> I had a great time here at the Sweet Spot right by the high school in Barrington. For Good Eats with Gall, I'm Alex Gall, signing off.